Hi, my name is James Finlay. I'm a geotechnical engineer for Mooshell. I've uh, been a geotechnical engineer for nearly 10 years now. And I'll just talk you through some of my recent projects I've worked on. Um, most recently, I'm working on the East London Line upgrade, which is um, getting the railway line up to speed for London Underground. Um, looking, working on assessing very large scale Victorian brick retaining walls, trying to figure out how they're standing up, why they're standing up, and how we can repair them. Um, other jobs of note have been four or five weeks in Dubai on a large riverfront development, uh, working on an overwater jack-up platform, which was great fun, sitting there uh, digging holes in the ground to find out what the soil's like, and uh, during the quiet periods, fishing off the side to see if we could catch out the creek. Um, geotechnical engineers tend to do projects that interact with the soil, so we can do underground basements, uh, foundations for buildings, um, earthworks for highways and railways. I've worked on many projects. Um, a good example is Cadogan Mansions, a, a large development in London. Uh, we approached this job by first of all finding out what the ground conditions were, by putting some holes in the ground to see what the soil was. Uh, we then had to find out what else was underneath the ground. It turned out to be London Underground Tunnel. So our foundations, which were going very deep in the ground, obviously had to avoid this large tunnel and make sure we didn't uh, do any damage to it. Uh, once we got the information in from the ground, we did the design work for the foundations and also for a large basement. Um, that's where geotech engineering really ends and the structures boys come along and do all the fancy stuff that you see above ground. Okay, so you hand over to them at that point? That's it, yeah, all our best work's hidden in the ground basically. Okay, so James in terms of uh, recruiting people, mm -hmm. if you were to you know, recruit a, an ideal person for your team, what kind of skills, aptitudes, what kind of person would you be looking for? I mean you want someone who's a logical thinker, someone who can solve problems, um, be used or <coughs> want to be able to work as a combination of in the office but also out on site. Geotechnical engineers are fortunate enough within civil engineering to get time out on site very early on in their careers so you know, not be afraid to get their hands dirty, not be afraid to um, tell a few contractors what they need to do and how they need to do it. Um, but it all comes back to being able to problem solver, having a good analytical brain um, but also having um, the ability to liaise with colleagues in the office and also you know, contractors out on site who might need a, a slightly different approach. Um, it's quite a specialised area. Um, does that is that an advantage and a disadvantage as far as you're concerned from a career point of view? From a career point of view, it's um, you know entry level wise, it's a huge advantage uh, if you chose geotech engineering. There's fewer fewer of the civil engineering body that want to do it, so getting your foot in the door for your first job, it's a great advantage. Um, where it can let itself down at times is your you, you may get a bit bored of having all your work buried under the ground um, and you know the architects and the structural engineers taking all the glory at the end of the day when literally your work's holding their work up.